I never met Uncle Billy. He was my mom's brother. And the story goes that Billy's dream was to have a, a, a cattle ranch. My grandfather had just purchased 144 acres in um, Mid Pines, California, by Mariposa. But he never got to see that. And I just found out that his saddle is still in the family. And my sister Rosie had it in her garage all these years. And I don't know why I missed that. I don't know how I missed that. But our grandparents talked about uh, they were very politically minded and talked about uh, finding him. His parents were notified that he had been uh, shot in the shoulder, but then he went missing, and that was the end of the trail. Through the years, um, uh, on the ranch as we were growing up, we would hear bits and snippets of um, about Billy, and uh, well, we haven't we haven't found Billy yet. They haven't found Billy yet. But they had nothing to go on. They didn't have the DNA at that time um, to, to test uh, all of these uh, remains of all of these Marines uh, from Tarawa. On the island of Beto Tarawa, they had buried the men, you know, on the island. There's you know, they were in war, and then in 1947, as I understand, they came back and uh, took them back to Hawaii. Last uh, fall, our cousin, Kathleen Chin Cole, connected with us, and she had been in contact uh, with the Marines and told them where to find us. And she was the one that kept on us about sending in our DNA, and then she met the people that we needed to contact. The Department of Defense, uh, probably a year after we moved to Reno, which is probably two years ago, they sent me a letter. How they found me, I don't know, but they found me. And they sent me a letter for my dad. Actually, they were trying to locate my dad uh, for DNA, and then asked if, if he wasn't alive, if I would give DNA. So I called him and told him, that my DNA wouldn't do any good. But there was somebody a long time ago in my family, back in the 50s, that wrote a whole book on from when this family came to the United States back in the Mayflower days. And all of us have our names in that book. I went to the book and found all of the cousins' names and gave them to them. And we contacted them, and they send us, sent us the... Uh, materials to turn in our DNA. I hope it's a closure for my grandparents. <sighs> when I think of them looking for their son, that that's what tears me up because I know how I feel looking for my son. For my mom to have her brother back and to at least know where he is so it, it is some closure for the family and I, I'm very happy about that and I'm, I'm glad that the the, the Marines um, just really stayed on that and I'm glad he, he gets to um, rest uh, next to his high school buddy that introduced him to mom.